We take for granted that the food we eat every day is safe. After all, United States agriculture feeds our nation and the world. But how do we know it's safe? What are the threats to our food supply? There are many enemies. Some of them can only be seen with a microscope. Plant and animal pests and diseases can attack food production plants. Some of them can even enter the United States from overseas. When people visit our nation, they may accidentally carry some of these insects and microbes with them. Sometimes on agriculture-related products they bring across the U.S. border. The federal government employs men and women to protect our food supply from these dangers. They work for the Plant Protection and Quarantine Branch of the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Animal and Plant Inspection Service. As more people travel internationally, the PPQ has more work to do and will need more young people interested in a career protecting the nation's food supply. A good place to start is right now in school. Southern University Agricultural Research and Extension Center and the College of Agricultural Family and Consumer Sciences, Southern University Baton Rouge, Louisiana, offers outreach programs to high schools providing an opportunity for students to learn about the challenging careers in plant protection. What we're trying to do is recruit the next generation, to train the next generation of scientists and professionals in global food security and plant file security. Uh, we're trying to encourage young people to pursue careers uh, in this particular field. The U.S. crops ecosystems are vulnerable to attack from diseases and exotic insect pests, whether they are introduced naturally or through accidental means. And food uh, security can be defined as the availability of food and one access to it. It's estimated that up to 10% of the global food supply is lost due to uh, plant diseases and other uh, uh, plant pests. And so preparedness is a critical strategy in ensuring uh, that our nation has an adequate and abundant uh, food supply. And so, and part of that preparedness is training the next generation of agricultural scientists to deal with this uh, particular involving uh, issue. Our nation is at a, uh, I would say, a critical stage in that uh, we need to replace many scientists, professionals, and university professors who are retiring. I enjoy working on the lab with the different grad and undergrad assistants. Pathogens can be quite serious and cause a lot of damage. And by working with the different grad assistants and undergrad assistants and the different professors, uh, you're helping usually to do some research that actually is applicable to real world uh, problems. This career is actually very exciting and fun. You're able to work with all types of different equipment and technology. You are able to ac actually make a difference in the world. You have all that global food security. Hey, Boss Gary. It was about training, I've been able to go for Dietrich with the USDA, the Agriculture Research Service, training with, and then working with different plant, with, with disease and oak death. Following the training and d different methods. Throughout my experience, I've traveled to uh, different states. Um, I've been to Wisconsin, Oregon, Arizona. Um, and uh, currently uh, in my PhD process, I've had the opportunity to go to Maryland. I had the opportunity to be invited to the Beltsville Area Research Center at a, a symposium where I was asked to give a presentation on my dissertation research, which was on hibiscus zabdarifa. It's a, it's a plant that's uh, used for a new food source. And the, the, the benefits of it is almost limitless. And, this is one of the key opportunities that um, Urban Forestry gives to many of his students. And it's very exciting, very exciting. Lots of opportunities with it. And um, my research, and as well as uh, other students' research, it gives us the opportunities to create something that was almost not there before. And it's, it's very interesting. My name is Cynthia Brown, and I'm a PhD student here in Urban Forestry at Southern University. Today I'm going to speak to you about global food security and the benefits of trees. Uh, one benefit with trees is clean air. Another is water recharge, groundwater recharge. Another is soil quality. We also work with agroforestry system here and that's with trees and animals or you can grow trees with crops. 
ecosystems, especially urban and wildland urban ecosystems, are under threat from uh, pests and diseases. And uh, here at Southern University, our research is focusing on some of the main issues and key uh, important issues. And uh, it is very critical that uh, we build and uh, produce capable experts in the field so they can address some of the major issues posing our urban forest and especially uh, vegetation such as live oaks in these areas which provides uh, tremendous amenities for us in terms of improving quality of life. It's uh, very critical for us to train young uh, people uh, to uh, get involved uh, with this critical science and uh, build the future in terms of being able to answer some of the potential uh, uh, problems uh, arising from pests and diseases and therefore uh, it is uh, absolutely necessary for us to build our research and teaching capabilities to train young uh, enthusiastic uh, students to go further to answer some of the environmental problems associated with those diseases. We're on the banks of the Mississippi River on the campus of Southern University uh, at Baton Rouge. And specifically, uh, we're at an area called Scott's Bluff. Uh, Scott's Bluff is a natural bluff uh, on the Mississippi River, and we're fortunate to have this important ecological site on our campus. And what you see the students doing is uh, some of the research uh, project that's involved with the ecological restoration of Scott's Bluff. One of the things what they were doing was putting out uh, bait bags. And what they were looking for is a particular uh, water mold. And these can be pathogens of, of trees. And what, they do, what you saw the students doing as part of their research was to uh, throw the bait bags out. And over time, uh, the zoospores of, of, of this particular uh, group of fungi, or pathogen, I should say, would attack the leaves. And then we could uh, take them back into the lab and isolate and see if we can uh, identify photoptera species uh, from there. It's important that we keep our trees uh, healthy so that our ecosystems can function. Trees provide so many wonderful benefits such as uh, reducing soil erosion. This is a natural uh, bluff, or, or Scott's Bluff is a wonderful ecological, um, uh, I would say, site on the Mississippi. And so if we lost trees uh, you know, from this bluff due to a high consequence plant pathogen, that would lead to soil erosion uh, and other you know, harmful environmental uh, concerns, also flooding. Uh, trees are also uh, important for groundwater recharge, uh, for clean air and uh, clean soil and uh, soil and water quality, uh, I should say. So, uh, so protecting trees from plant pathogens uh, is extremely important. And this particular uh, t technique, what they were doing, is how we do surveillance uh, for plant pathogens. And if one is uh, uh, detected, we can uh, uh, do some proper protocols how to manage it. Welcome to the Center for Coastal Zone um, Lab for Remote Sensing and GIS as part of the Urban Forestry Program. Uh, this facility is state-of-the-art with the latest software for GIS and other spatial technologies like Erdas Imagine for Remote Sensing and uh, Trimble GPS for the purposes of gathering data on uh, global food security as well as plant biosecurity. Every graduate student at Southern University is trained in the use of these three technologies. Uh, we have our able uh, GIS technician who keeps and has updated this technology to the internet map server system. We hire people to conduct our survey which means we need students to, to know the basics of agriculture so they kind of have an idea of what we're doing when you go out in the field to run our surveys. It, it's a good career. It can be a very exciting career for people who want to work in the field. If you don't want to be stuck in an office, sitting behind a desk, running a cash register at, at the local retail store, you want to get out in the field, see the agriculture, meet the farmers, 
work with the extension agents, then it, it, it's a good career. I was like you. I was a person, a, a student who was interested in science. Because you're here, I'm assuming that you're interested in science. Science includes nature. Science includes going to museums. Science includes a whole lot of things that you probably haven't thought about. But once you get involved in science, when you go on field trips and you, you're feeding your curiosity, you could end up in a career in science. It's not something that is so difficult that it's way beyond your imagination. Um, once I came through, I, in high school, I decided that um, one of my most interesting classes was biology and chemistry. I used to love math, even though math was hard. Just because something's hard doesn't mean you can't do it. Everything you have on is chemistry. Everything you eat is related to chemistry. What you're sitting on is chemistry. So don't allow people to convince you that it's some hard um, type of thing that only certain men can do because it's something that you can do and it's something that you actually participate with every day. How does this part of the plant look? I enjoyed it and I learned more about um, how the leaves affect the plant itself. I didn't know the leaves had really anything to do with it. So that's what I pretty much learned. I like science and I'd like to learn more about this topic. I like science because it's fun and you get to learn about plants and I like plants. I like science because you can learn about all kinds of diseases, motions and um, friction and um, you can learn how to cure diseases, how to find out what's the name of the disease and everything. I'm a freshman in, in high school and I like science because it can be very interesting. I've had a chance to um, travel to so many uh, states. I've had a chance to uh, visit the AFI station in uh, Florida. I've had, and I've had a chance to um, mingle with other scientists here at Southern. And so science, it's very interesting and it, and it can be fun. In 1994, it was estimated that global losses due to plant diseases was between 9.7 to 14.2 percent of potential yield. Global food security can be defined as availability of food and having sufficient resources to obtain it. Plant diseases can limit the availability of food plants. What is plant pathology? Plant pathology is a professional who specializes in the study of plant diseases. Plant pathologists strive to keep plants healthy. They diagnose the causes of plant diseases, monitor and restrict the movement of plant pathogens, unravel the mystery of genes responsible for causing plant disease, teach students, farmers, and the general public current strategies for disease management, work with agricultural scientists around the world, and develop disease-resistant plant varieties. Opportunists for careers in global food security. The career outlook is bright. I can be a plant pathologist, entomologist, urban forester, soil scientist, plant molecular biologist, GIS specialist, geographical information systems. Students interested in careers in global food security should consider taking the following undergraduate classes. Botany, microbiology, genetics, plant physiology, statistics, soil science, biology. Take math and science courses in high school. A career in plant protection offers many rewards and challenges, including the satisfaction of keeping our food safe. Other benefits are domestic and international travel opportunities, comprehensive training, good starting pay with regular pay raises, medical insurance, retirement benefits, and a pension plan. If you really love to travel, because that, that was the key point that drove me to this program, was the travel and, and just, just meeting new people and just getting all these ideas uh, just from all over. You know, th this would definitely be the program for you. If you want to make a difference in the world, consider a career in global food security and plant biosecurity. 
We're interested in students, interested in science, because our nation uh, is going to depend upon uh, uh, this next generation of scientists to do research about how do we control plant diseases, how do we control uh, insect pests. So to ensure that we have an abundant and safe food supply. Global food security is fun. You should really think about pursuing this career. Thank you.